गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई लर्निंग क्लास ऑफ कंप्यूटर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू चैप्टर नंबर टू एंड वी विल रीड टॉपिक जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स लेट स्टार्ट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स इज ऑफन रेफर टू डिफरेंट जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स विद एवरी जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स देयर वॉज ए मेजर डिवेलपमेंट इन टेक्नोलॉजी As a result, computer becomes smaller, cheaper, powerful, and efficient. Students, there are different generations of computers. Generations of computers means different time period of development in technology. As a result, in every generation, computer become smaller, means small in size. Cheaper means less expensive than previous generations. powerful and efficient means able to do more calculations and more work with systematic first generation computer the time period of first generation computer was from 1940 to 1956 the features of first generation computers are as follow these used vacuum tubes as processor students as you have seen the cpu now cpu is the central processing unit and it is called the processor of the computer in first generation computer vacuum tubes used as a processor that process the data and execute the instructions in other words you can say that processor is the brain of the computer all the calculations done by the processor computers were of big size and it was difficult to handle them means the size of the computers were too large in first generation so that's why it was very difficult to handle them easily they consumed a lot of electricity and generated a lot of heat students as in the first generation computer vacuum tubes used as a processor vacuum tubes like electric bulb so they consumed lot of electricity and produced lot of heat these computers were extremely slow and quite expensive to operate some examples of first generation computer are as follows mark 1 the ibm automatic sequence controlled calculator in short form ascc called mark 1 was designed by howard h aiken in 1944 it was about 16 meter long and weighed about 4500 kg the machine was very slow in calculation but it was the first fully automatic calculator students mark 1 was the first automatic calculator designed by howard and chicken in 1944 it was the first operating machine that could execute long computations students mark 1 was a general purpose electromechanical computer that was used in the war effort during the last part of the world war 2 eniac eniac stands for electronic numerical integrator and computer it was the first electronic general purpose computer eniac was developed by john presper eckert john mochley and their team associates for the army of the united states in 1946 some of the features of eniac are given below it could perform 5000 addition or subtraction about 385 multiplications or 40 division in 1 second it consists of 17468 vacuum tubes or you can say that it was made up of 17468 processors it occupied 1800 square feet of floor space weight more than 27000 kilograms univac 1 univac 1 stands for universal automatic computer 1 it was the first commercial electronic computer it was also developed by j presper eckert and john mochley in 1951 it was also the first computer to handle both numeric and text data it weighed approximately 13000 kilograms 
and occupied an area of 35.5 square meters students the univac 1 was designed as commercial data processing computer it was used to calculate company payrolls sales records analysis of sales performance and other company business the univac could perform 90000 transactions per month second generation computer the time period of second generation computer was from 1956 to 1963 some of the features of second generation computers are in second generation computer vacuum tubes were replaced by transistors students in first generation computer vacuum tubes were used as a processor but in second generation computer they were replaced by the transistor these transistors were smaller in size faster cheaper and more reliable means the size of the transistors were smaller than the vacuum tubes but they were faster and cheaper than the vacuum tubes they consumed less electricity and generated less heat as compared to the first generation computers high level languages that developed during second generation computers were cobol and basic example of second generation computers are ibm 700 and ibm 1401 third generation computer was from 1964 to 1971 some of the features of the third generation computers are in third generation computers transistors were replaced by integrated circuits students as earlier we have read that there was a major development in technology with every generation of computers so in third generation computers technology was replaced by integrated circuits these computers were smaller cheaper and consumed less electricity than the second generation of computer programming was done in high level language students programming is the process that professionals use to write code that instructs how a computer application or software program performs instead of punch cards keyboards were reused to input data students as in first and second generation of computers punch cards were used to input data but in third generation computer they were replaced with keyboards monitors were used as output device instead of printouts students in previous generations printouts used as the output devices but from third generation computer monitors were used as output devices examples of third generation computers are IBM 360 370 and NAV 7500 fourth generation computers from 1971 to present the features of fourth generation computers are During this period microprocessor was developed a microprocessor is a circuit containing the entire cpu on one silicon chip students in fourth generation computers technology replaced with microprocessor the microprocessor is the central unit of a computer system that performs arithmetic and logic operations arithmetic operations means adding subtracting and logic operations means comparing two numbers computer became more advanced in term of processing and memory capacities memory capacities means storage capacities of data the use of internet mouse and many other handheld devices handheld devices like smartphones tablets ipad etc are some advancement seen in this generation the use of microprocessors resulted in decreased size and increased efficiency they can be linked together to share storage capacity space data etc examples are modern day pcs laptops palm tops fifth generation computers from 1989 to future fifth generation computers are in developmental stage which is based on the artificial intelligence the features of fifth generation computers are the fifth generation computers will use ultra large scale integrated chips they will have artificial intelligence students artificial intelligence 
is the ability of computer or robot controlled by a computer to do tasks that are usually done by humans they will be able to recognize image and graphs fifth generation computer aims to be able to solve highly complex problem including decision making logical reasoning they will be able to use more than one cpu for faster processing speed fifth generation computers are intended to work with natural language students in previous generations computer understands only machine language high level language but in fifth generation computers they are intended to work with the natural language natural language means human language examples are cray cs300 cray1 param anurag and titan thank you and have a nice day